I made a comment today on the internet which I had to remove due to it being incorrect. Technically. And it was so rude of me after all these years of living among honourable women that I rushed with fear and a conscious crisis and had to remove the ill-afforded thought because it was not true. It, and even if it was what, where I was coming from, it was sort of dark, narky, evil truth. Then there's no point in bringing it up. It's just, it's the way you spin reality is whether you're nice or not, really. And my thought wasn't nice. It was very, very cynical. And I am ashamed. I am ashamed of the text that I put up. And I removed it. I have removed it. And I hope no one saw it. Um, I will tell you what that text was. Um, but, before I do, I would like to say I do not believe it now, after having five minutes to think about my actions. I regret fully my decision making and even thinking it might be dark, truth or jest. And I have removed it from the space time continuum online super machine because I don't think it's true. It is cynical, darkly, horribly, wickedly the very best. And I repent and I revoke and I recant every single string of that sense sentence. Because I believe it may have been a satanic push from the dark side voltage which entered my heart in the form of spirit malevolence. And I don't like that thing. I know as a moralist that I have to watch my moral vectors and I watch everyone's and feel everyone's and mine included moral vectors of the world. So when I, oh, the sky is starting with porn stars today, oh my god, there's a poor woman, a, it looks like a lovely woman, a beautiful woman, who had a lover and he started strangling her during the winter. Now you may laugh, it's not funny, it is disgusting what these pricks all do to women online in porn films. Right? They're not even films. They're porn home videos, basically. Some are better lit, and they've got the worst, narky, quasi Joy Division, neo-Nazi, uber-satanic horror crew working for their sick dream of utter filth. Right? It's awful. It's awful. And do you know what? It's so bad that it's biblically legitimate to argue that the words sexual immorality in the biblical prophecies don't refer to homosexuality. They don't refer to having a wife at home when you're young or in private, right? They refer to porn. It's a prophecy of the future revelation. And sexual immorality in the English from the original ancient Greek is the word pornoi. Okay, what does pornoi mean? Greek has huge etymological origins in our English native language now, right? And so it's clearly an etymological root of meaning porn. So, and do you know what happens to them in the prophecies? They all end up in a lake of fire burning in hell forever for not repenting and being better people. So I'd break it to you kids, but you know, watch it while you want for your five minute funky on a night out. Don't you turn your life to that sort of thing, otherwise you too could end up frying like a KFC hot wing in the bargain bucket of divine attorney.